Hey St. Lucia, good morning to you. I am very thrilled right now because we've recently observed the International Day of the Child. Yes. And with this, there's something amazing that's going to be taking place on Saturday called Minis for Minis. Exactly. So, Bookie, welcome. How Thank are you? you? I'm good. I'm good. Super. And I don't think I had to give a long introduction for Bookie because I think everybody should know by now me curate art gallery. And when we see Bookie, we should think of art or the arts, I should say. So, yes. Bookie, please just tell us about this event because I know it's going to be um, for charity. It's going to help some youth here in St. Lucia. So it is going to be something really powerful. Yes, exactly. So Nicole Edgecombe and the team behind Minis for Minis have come together to support a charity which is focused on the child. The charity in uh, English is translated to be Children's Umbrella. Mm -hmm. And the charity is really about trying to help children when it comes to educational and also medical needs. The charity was set up in 2007 by Jane Dublay and is a voluntary based organisation. Power Souls is a great charity. We, you know, the main focus of them is to help the children. And uh, you know, the International Day of the Child is what inspired this. And so the, the children is quite at the core of the charity itself. They really are focused, like you said, on flea markets and book sales and other ways of raising money. And what better way than an art auction? So the art auction takes place on the 23rd of November from 7 p.m. at Coco Palm and there will be a great selection of small miniature artworks for you to purchase for yourself or as a gift for Christmas yes. and all proceeds will go to Power Soul Charity because it's a voluntary based charity all monies will go directly to them so you are investing in the youth the young kids of St. Lucia. In those two main areas, when it comes to education and also medicine, you know, primarily yes. that's what really is the core. A healthy, well-educated child will be a great leader. So So Art really is focused about using art as a form of healing. Now, So Heart began, I believe, in 20, 2008, and initially it was going to be just a short five-week kind of project. It grew and grew and grew to where we are here today. Now, So Art is focused on ensuring that art can be seen as a way of healing and a way of communicating and expressing yourself. Now, the, 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 the ladies behind it, Nicole Edgecombe, Jean Madrick, and many others kind of thought it would be a great idea to kind of put together this art auction on the 23rd and uh, really kind of focus their efforts and their energy and their creativity um, to young kids of St. Lucia. So they've kind of brought together artists, both professional and amateur, from St. Lucia, the USA and also the UK as a way of just kind of mobilizing um, artists as a way of creating money and a fundraising event and what's so fun for me as a curator is the pieces are coming you know the shows on, on saturday today is wednesday right so the shows are coming in quite last minute but it makes it a lot more fun and engaging exactly. and ex exactly <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing the pieces myself almost for the first time a day or two before the show and it just shows people's support from globally you know from the uk usa and also here in st lucia that people do care about the youth of st lucia and want to support them Great. So, you know, on this note, St. Lucia, as we continue to celebrate our children, um, those of us who are fortunate to have healthy kids or we're able to take care of them, provide them with what they need for education, let us remember there are others who need the assistance. So don't forget Minis for Minis yes. is going to be happening this Saturday. So make the effort. Come on out. Get yourself a nice piece. Or again, it's just in time for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Get a piece and know as well, besides making somebody else happy, it's going to help do something amazing. Absolutely. And the pieces are all affordable. So please do come with your checkbooks and your cash in hand ready to contribute and donate for Power Soul. Definitely. Thank you so much, Bookie. Okay. I think everybody's going to be proud. I'm sure St. Lucia is enticed. So make sure you come on out and let's all be part of this movement. All right, guys. So guess what? I was able to have Nicole come say a quick word as well. And some of you may be familiar with her art. She also uses it for healing. And uh, you're also part of the team behind the movement of Soul Art, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So just tell us a little bit about why it's so important and why you guys were passionate about being involved with Minis for Minis. Well, um, because of the whole idea of art for healing. I mean, I think when people think about art, they think about something pretty on your wall or, uh, or an investment or something like that. But I think art can do a lot more. And I don't think that that's something that's explored here. So in the, our own journey of all of us having some sort of different... Um, experience with art in terms of our well-being 
it just the idea just mushroomed you know what if we could take it even beyond ourselves and uh, who better than the children and today of course being international day of the child we really thought we would have the exhibition today and um, use this opportunity to highlight this uh, natural synergy between what art can do to improve the life of other people. Um, and then we just, you know, brainstormed and then we thought let's do a charity every year because we would like it to be an annual event. We don't know if that's going to happen, but this is our first year and we selected PowerSol because they have such an excellent track record. They've already done so much for children. Um, you know, coming up with the funds is always a challenge and we know they do so much on their own which also made them attractive because you know you like to help people who are already helping themselves so we selected PowerSol and the response from our, the international online art community as well as from our local community has been phenomenal and uh, you know up to today I just received yet another package coming in yes. um, so the excitement builds every time it's like Christmas every time we get one of these packages to open and the art that has come in has been a awesome and quite a broad spectrum and we've had art from lo local artists from uh, someone in Jamaica St. Vincent I think we have from Trinidad as well as in the US Canada and the UK yeah so it's been a phenomenal experience thus far I have one gentleman I think in Germany who's trying to get his piece here I'm not sure if it's going to make it but um yeah, so we are excited and we hope that we can do it again next year. Super. Well, thank you so much for taking yeah. time out for being here. And everyone remember, Minis for Minis this Saturday. Saturday. So come on out and it's at Coco Palm. It's at Coco Creole. Ah, Coco, Coco Creole, Creole Conference Room from 7 to 9. All right, so make it a date. Come do something meaningful. Come get your Christmas gifts and know it's also going to have double benefits. Your friends and family will be happy and you're going to help a child somewhere. So thank you so much. Thank you. family good morning to you it is time to wake you up in the know once again and like I told you International Men's Day yes we made a fuss of it on the 19th but we are still celebrating all week long and I found out about a group and this I definitely want to bring to the forefront bring to the light let everybody know so we have options and avenues for our boys as well so first of all allow me to welcome Nyla here Nyla Marius how are you I'm good how are you Sheila? I'm feeling great and I'm super excited that you were able to make time out to be here with us that way we can enlighten St. Lucia and of course bring I think to the forefront something that's going to be really beneficial for our boys so your group is called Gen Nom, correct right. so of course most of us should be speaking part to us so I feel like we should know what this means please tell us about your group so Gen Nom is a community-based boys mentorship program where we pair them up with adult males mm -hmm. to go through a mentorship program we take them on activities we counsel well not counsel but we speak with them and we take them activities and we help them out with schoolwork academic wise or life skills mm -hmm. um, we're currently based in Babano but we are will be extending to the schools next year and we're catering from boys between the ages of 7 to 17. So I'm curious uh, as to why you decided to start this group. Well I looked around um, there was a situation with one of my nephews um, he grew up without his dad mm -hmm. and there was a teenage situation and I looked around for activities and things that he could do and there was nothing really that he could have done as a boy. Mm -hmm. We have lots of clubs and a lot of activities for girls and basically what we have for boys is sports. So if right. you don't play football or basketball or cricket, there is nothing for you to do. And I hooked him up with a friend of mine who's a teacher just to speak with him and he spoke with him, he helped him with homework and he was able to get through to him more than we, his own family members could have. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why don't I make this into something the community can benefit from. So we started off with a little boys camp with about 10 boys. So I got like five adult males to come with me and 10 boys and we took them out camping, fishing, and they really loved the interaction and we got to teach them some life skills. We helped them set goals for the next probably five years. And it was really interesting the way that they approached it and the way they, ap they appreciated it. So I was like, yeah, I should probably put this out and make it into something more than it is already. Great. So when did you um, kick things off with this? Group? We officially started um, in January of 2018 and we 
the guys went through a mentorship program process, kind of like a training. So we sat, we discussed certain things they need to do, what's the do's and the don'ts. We met the parents. Um, we got through people's backgrounds. We did police checks and whatever. And then we kicked off of the camp. And that was July of last of 2018. And then we continued after with little things. The guys would continue meeting with the boys, mm -hmm. going talk to their parents. They had a games night. Um, we also did a back to school drive this year because we couldn't do a camp. And um, so the mentors kind of keep in touch with the mentees. Anything you want to ask, anything the parents, any questions that they have, they speak with the mentors or they speak with me. Great. So let me ask you, how about the families now of these young boys? Because clearly um, we can tell that the boys are enjoying this. But what is the impact with the families now and their relationship with them? What we want to do in the coming year is to also train the parents in how they can speak with the kids, how to discipline kids, how to handle certain situations. Mm -hmm. So we are in contact with the district councillor in District 1, and she's looking forward to doing a session with them on that and how to handle certain situations, how to handle conflicts. So we're not just changing the lives of the boys, we're changing the lives of the parents as well great and you know that's just gonna add to a great family sort of feel yeah. and energy that synergy that's needed and I mean in this day and age being a parent is not an easy task not like it ever was but I feel like we have a generation just based on you know all the things that they are privileged to have that we did not especially the advent mm -hmm. of technology they are way advanced way. beyond their years so it's uh, you know I'm speaking from personal experience because I have a boy and it's just like you know, I'm getting questions that I never asked at this age or they're exposed because other kids are, you know, coming in with information. So it's not that easy. And sometimes you may find, like you said, somebody else may be able to reach. You could be doing it mm -hmm. the best that you can. But for some reason, it takes an outside person to get through, especially with your boy. Yeah. And imagine a, a sneak peek that we have for next year. One of the mentors want to do kind of like a... A formal dinner with the boy show them how to sit down how to ask a girl out mm -hmm. how to put your how to eat with a knife and a fork how right. to dress properly tie and jacket and i'm like i'm really excited to see what next year brings oh uh, you know what that sounds good i'm looking forward to see a crop of dapper gentlemen coming yeah. out of that <laughs> so i know you have an up-and-coming health fair and this was also um coinciding with international men's day um celebrations so just tell us about that so for international men's day we did it decided to do two activities one we call the bro code so um any prominence or um, engaging male in the community we want to shout them out on our social media pages so we get a little bio about them and a little pic and then we just show them how much we appreciate all the work they're doing and we have an a healthcare coming up this Sunday at the multi-purpose center in the community. We'll be doing free health checks, um, health talks, um, mental well, me mental wellness, and um, Rice and Lucia is also going to be doing something on COPD. And um, we just want the men to come out and just sit together, discuss, let's see what we need to do, what needs to happen, how can we go forward, and how can we help you perfect well saint lucia remember the name of the group i like the energy of you so i can only imagine with your team and how many people are on the team currently with currently we have five mentors we have teachers an accountant um, social workers so it's a group of vibrant young exciting young men right. who are happy to help change lives of men around them fantastic well please let us know um if you guys have social media pages so we can follow the movement or also well not or but as well as letting us know how persons can contact because I'm certain there's people watching right now who would love to have their son part of it or maybe volunteer to be part of the assistance. Yeah, well, they can check out our Facebook page. It's GenNorm758 mm -hmm. and it's the same for our Instagram. Um, we are currently taking mentors and volunteers for our 2020 cohort so people can check out the application forms on there or you can give us a call at 717-5330. All right, perfect. So now you're in the No St. Lucia. Thank you so much, Nyla, Thank for you. coming through. So we are going to continue to celebrate our men and again with groups like these that are here to specifically help our young boys. It helps us know that we have a start to an even brighter future. Some right. great men to be here at the helm for St. Lucia. Yes. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Abby. Welcome to part two of our Neuro Movement Wellness Series. Neuro Movement is an opportunity to discover the amazing powers of the brain for healing and restoration. Neuro Movement helps you relieve stress, 
get rid of aches and pains and improve overall wellness and improve vitality. Welcome to lesson five of our Neuromovement Wellness Series. And of course, throughout this series, we've been at the beach, so taking in the beautiful sounds of nature to totally add to our well-being. So in today's lesson, we'll begin by gently contracting the abdomen muscles and <clears throat> pull it, allowing the pelvis to tilt upwards. So you contract the abdomen muscles and you breathe out. So you exhale and then you stop. Do the movement again. So just imagine that you're on a clock or you, uh, your bum is on a clock. So interestingly, what we'll be exploring is the pelvis and how we can sort of change the dial or move the pelvis. So now we're taking the pelvis to 12 o'clock. And then we stop the movement and then we come to 12 o'clock again. So when you contract the abdomen muscles, it's really bringing the pelvis, tilting the pelvis upwards to closer to the lower back. And just notice how the force of tilting the pelvis upwards is traveling through the spine all the way up to Francis's head. So we'll do two more of this movement of contracting the abdomen muscles and exhaling. So exhale through the mouth. And then slowly stop this movement. And then now we're going to be exploring six o'clock. So six o'clock would be the opposite to 12 o'clock. So now we will begin by pushing the abdomen muscles out. So we'll be breathing in as we expand the abdomen muscles, gently tilting the pelvis downwards towards the tip of the tailbone. So we come back to the neutral or starting point and then we take a deep breath in again, expanding the abdomen muscles, taking our pelvis now to six o'clock. And just notice how that feels for you as you're doing this movement, those of you at home. So basically when you tilt the pelvis to six o'clock, you arch your lower back. So you push the belly out and you arch the lower back muscles. And then you come back to your neutral and you do the movement again. So you push the belly out, expanding the abdomen muscles. And gently do one more movement. And then gently stop, lengthen the legs and rest. So now we are going to explore the first quarter of our clock. So we'll be going in at three o'clock and gradually coming up to two o'clock, gradually to one o'clock and then to 12 o'clock. So what we will begin by doing is arching the right side of our back and tilting our pelvis to three o'clock. So then from three o'clock, we slowly come up to two o'clock. So it's like you're almost contracting the abdomen muscles from two o'clock slowly to one o'clock and then to 12 o'clock. And from 12 o'clock, we take it slowly to one o'clock. And from one o'clock to two o'clock, so we're on this, we're on this side. So this is 12, this is one, this is two, and this is three. And just feel what it's like going slowly between 12 o'clock, one o'clock, and two o'clock, and three o'clock. So you're learning to explore your pelvis probably in ways that 
you never even <laughs> dreamed of. So now when you come back to 12, let's just stop for a, a minute and just observe your feeling of self. Do you notice anything differently as you're just in the rest position? You feel? I feel like there's a lot easier, a to, lot transition easier to transition. To okay, yeah. wonderful. And now, slowly over to nine o'clock. And then from nine o'clock, we'll be coming up to 10 o'clock, then 11 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock. So good contracting at 12. And then from 12, you go back to 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So at 9 o'clock, the belly should be expanded. So you'll be pushing the belly out. And then slowly come back from 9 to 10. So then you slowly contract in the abdomen from 10 to 11 and 11 to 12. And now as we reach 12 o'clock, we are going to explore going to one o'clock. So now we're shifting to the right. So one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. And when we reach at three o'clock, we'll be coming back up to 12. So three from three to two, to one, to 12. And just feel what's happening in your head each time you approach 12 o'clock. It's like the, just pushing through this all the way up to the head. So now ladies, slowly stop the movement, lengthen the legs and rest. And thank you to those of you at home. You can feel free to explore the lower half of the clock between three o'clock and nine o'clock and just observe how you feel doing the movements remember to go slow go gentle and to pay attention to your movements so this is a good way to start things off we've taken care of our mind our body our spirits and if you've not prayed for the morning make sure you take the time out to give thanks and we need to recognize and appreciate the things that we have as small as it can be though because you know what it's the simple things that's going to be our blessings and we need to recognize that so you are my blessing we are your blessing we want to wake you up with all that positive energy so please keep it locked on to dbs sign up on our youtube channel which is dbs this morning and keep sharing Sending that right back at you. So I'm ready for tomorrow already. But go out, conquer today, and come back to me tomorrow at 6 a.m. And we'll do it all over again. Mm -hmm.